Good evening, math friends. Tonight's video is lesson 2.1, multiplication comparisons. I need you to make sure that you are on page 23 of your Go Math book. When you get there, at the top where it says name, you're going to write the essential question. How can you relate multiplication equations and comparison sentences? Go ahead and write this down at the top of page 23. Remember, during this video, you can pause or rewind and rewatch any section to make sure that you're following along with us. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's look at number one in your Go Math book. It says that you're going to write a comparison sentence. Now, you can relate multiplication equations and comparison sentences. So what that means is I can have an equation for multiplication that looks like this, 6 times 3 equals 18. And I can write that in a sentence, 6 times as many as 3 is 18. Now, I want you to notice that in our sentence we have some keywords that go along to the equation that they give us right here. Now, six times, well here I have six times. As many as three, well now we have six times three equals, and now for the equal sign we have the word is, and our answer is 18. So six times three equals 18. Six times as many as three is 18. Now I'm going to show you a model that's going to demonstrate this comparison sentence and this multiplication equation. Now boys and girls, if you look here, I drew a model to represent the 6 times as many as 3 is 18. Now if you notice, I have a rectangle here, and this bottom rectangle is representing my 3. Now above the rectangle, I have the same rectangle representing 3, but I have it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So what it's saying is that I have this 3, I at the top I have it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So 6 times 3 is 18, and I could add up all of these 3's to get my answer as well. And I would know that if I add up 3 6 times, I would get 18. And now I'm going to draw a bracket on top that's telling me that all of these 3's added together, or if I multiply 3 6 times, then I'm going to get 18. And that's my model that goes along with my multiplication sentence and my comparison sentence. So what I would like from you, boys and girls, is if you could draw this model that I've drawn here in your Go Math book right underneath number one. Go ahead and pause the video and draw it for me. Press play whenever you're ready to come back and join us. Okay, boys and girls, we're going to look at number two now in our Go Math book, and we're going to answer it together. So, number two, our equation is 63 equals 7 times 9. Now, they want us to write the comparison sentence. So, they give us the equation here, and now we need to fill in the blanks for the, se the sentence. So, now, if you notice that this equal sign always represents the word is. So you can see that our is is coming first and so our answer, so it's just like saying 63 is blank times as many as blank. So let's look at our numbers in our equations. 7 times 9. So I can say 63 equals 7 times 9. 63 is 7 times as many as 9. Now that is filling in our comparison sentence. 
with the equation that they give us. 63 is 7 times as many as 9. 63 equals 7 times 9. Fill in these numbers with me in your Go Math book. Okay, we're going to jump down to number 3. Number 3 says 5 times 4 equals 20. That's the equation that they give us. They want us to write a comparison sentence. Well, let's look at the blanks that they give us. Hmm times as many as hmm is hmm. So remember, that equal sign is going to go to the is. So I know that hmm times as many as hmm is going to be 20. It's going to equal 20. So let's fill in 20 there for us. And then we can say, well, 5 times 4 equals 20. Well, 5 times as many as 4 is 20. Now let's look at the comparison model that goes to the sentence and to the equation. Okay, boys and girls, I want you to draw this model along with me in your good math book next to number three. So now, as you can see, we have our rectangle, and this rectangle is going to represent the number four. So I'm going to draw a number four here. That means that this, re this rectangle is representing four. Now, I have to have five times as many as this one rectangle that's representing four. So in my rectangles on top, I'm going to place the number four. And as you can see, I have it five times. So now let's look. I have this four, one, two, three, four, five five times and those fours added up together or four times five that is going to all equal 20. So this model is showing me that that five times four equals 20 or five times as many as four is 20. I hope you drew this model with me in your Go Math book. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at number four. They want us to write a comparison sentence. Now, our equation is 48 equals 8 times 6. Now, boys and girls, I would like you to try this question on your own. Our blank, our comparison sentence says, hmm is hmm times as many as hmm. So go ahead and pause the video, answer the question, and press play, and we'll go over the answer together. Okay, let's go over our answer. So we can see that our is is going to be representing our equal sign. So 48 equals 48 is 8 times 6 or 8 times as many as 6. Did you get that one right, boys and girls? Great job. Let's move on. Now let's look at number 5. Our question has changed a little bit. It says that now we need to write an equation. So that means we need to write the problem down for the comparison sentence. So they're going to give us the sentence and they want the equation. So let's go over that. It says 2 times as many as 8 is 16. Well, 2 times as many as 8, now remember that is represents the equal sign, is 16. 2 times 8 equals 16. 2 times as many as 8 is 16. Now, boys and girls, I want you to see if you can draw the model that goes to this equation and sentence. Remember with the rectangles like we did in the previous questions? Now, if you're having trouble, you can always go back and rewind the video to see how I drew the other models. So go ahead, press pause, see if you can draw the model for me, and then we'll go over the answer. Okay, boys and girls, let's come back and let's look at our model. Here's the model that I drew. Now, I'm going to have the rectangle on the bottom representing the 8. Now, I'm going to have this 8 two times because it says 2 times 8 
is 16. So I'm going to have my 8 2 times, and these two 8s together represent the answer 16. And that's what my bracket is showing me here. Now, if you didn't get it right, that's fine. Go ahead and fix your model so it looks like mine, and we'll move on. Okay, boys and girls, we need to write an equation that goes to this comparison sentence. Number six says 42 is six times as many as seven. Go ahead and pause the video and work this one out on your own. Press play when you're ready to go over the answer with me. Okay, so our sentence said 42 is six times as many as seven. So now we have to have 42 equals 42 is six times six times as many as seven. And here's our seven. Did you get that one right? I am so proud of you. Give yourselves a happy face. Good job. All right, so for number seven, eight, nine, and 10, I want you to make sure that you circle those for me and you are going to go ahead and work on those on your own. So go ahead, pause the video, and work on number seven, eight, nine, and 10 on your own and make sure they're circled. We will be checking these tomorrow in class. Let's look at number 11. It's our problem solving question. It says, Alan is 14 years old. This is twice as old as his brother James. How old is James? Well, we can draw a model to show how to find out this answer. Well, boys and girls, I drew a model. Now I know that Alan is 14 years old and this is twice as old as James. So really my model is showing me, and I have Alan and James, my model is showing me that 14 is two times as many as something. Now we know that they are asking us how old is James? Well, we need to know figure out James's age, and then we can fill in our, our model. Well, I know that two times something equals 14. I know that two times seven is 14. So how old is James? James is seven years old, and we can write that down in our model. And this is twice as old, or Alan is twice as old as James. So we're gonna have seven and we're gonna have it two times in the box and that all equals 14. Let's look at number 12. It says there are 27 campers. This is nine times as many as the number of counselors. How many counselors are there? Well we know that we have 27 campers and this is, that's our equal sign, nine times the number of counselors. So we don't know what that is yet. How many counselors are there? Well, all I have to do is think nine times something is 27. So I know you know your multiplication facts and you know that three times nine is 27. So three is our answer that goes in the blank. That's how many counselors there are. All right, Smarties, now that we've watched the video, we're ready to answer some questions on our own. So on page 24, you are only going to answer numbers one and two on your own for homework. Remember, only numbers one and two by yourselves. We will be checking these tomorrow in class. After watching the video, we need to assess ourselves. Let's see how we feel after the lesson. Do you feel like you're a level one, a novice? I'm just starting to learn this. I don't really understand it. Or how about a level two, an apprentice? I'm starting to get it, but I still need coaching. What about a level three, practitioner? I can do it by myself, but sometimes I might get stuck. Or a level four, an expert. I understand it well. I could teach it to someone. After you assess yourself, I need you to write it down 
at the bottom of page 24 of your Go Math book so that we can see how you're doing on this lesson. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you tomorrow in class. Bye!